Okay, not all of the grunt work is done. I still have to clean out uh, the stuff left behind from uh, when we ran the, the uh, washer, the pressure washer. But uh, now it's time to start giving some consideration to the design of the roll cage. Here's the inch and three quarter tubing, how it'll fit on the existing frame uh, for one of the attachments, like the front post. Anyway, uh, we, co we could have just emulated the, uh, the original car and put the roll cage right where the original windshield is. Uh, but I have a little, a little bit of uh, concern about that, the hood being a little high. Uh, the, the, we're, we're putting in racing seats and they're going to be lower than the original seats. So I want to give myself a little bit of clearance to see over the hood. So the first thing we're going to do before we start the roll cage is we're, we're going to put the engine in or a mock-up engine and we're also going to uh, bring the hood or the finish hood that we'll be using uh, and put it in place. Now this is the original hood of the 85 Corvette uh, in all its dust and glory prior to finishing it off. The problem with the original hood is this thing weighs 220 pounds. So we're going to have to make a fiberglass mold and build this thing lightweight either out of fiberglass or carbon fiber in order to give us a lightweight hood and the same shape of the Corvette that we want to see on this finished product. Okay, part of the design considerations for the body of this car is this is the shape of the or roughly the shape of the uh, original door panel as an in view with this right here being the uh, chassis or the frame. Um, the finished car is going to be more like this out and down give us a straight side and it'll be a little easier. I already have molds to give me side panels like this from doing uh, the dirt race car and uh, this will be where we'll run the exhaust. So we'll have this door panel like this and where it meets the front of the car here's the shape of what the, the body the, the front hood looks like so what we'll be doing is adding this to it we need we need that same shape that uh, that we have in the in this car we need that same shape, whereas the original didn't look like that. And this is roughly what the side view of the hood looks like in original. And when we finish, we want the, the side view to look like this, uh, with this being our, our new section going in. Now the problem is, originally I decided I was going to take and make a mold where this would would blend into the original hood um, and make a mold for the car in a single piece for the hood. The problem with doing it that way was setting up this section here to come straight up and curve over with an inch and a quarter radius and make that transition from here down onto the hood and make it look smooth. So the idea would be to build a whole model of the finished hood with that flare on the side and then make a mold so we could make the panels. The problem with that is I also want to use this hood to make just a stock mold of the original hood so that I can make carbon fiber or fiberglass lightweight hoods that somebody else might want for a stock Corvette. So rather than making two molds, uh, one with the flare on it and one original, that was going to take a lot of time, a lot of money, and I really need an original. 
So then the, the final plan for the design of this hood is I'm going to make a piece to go on the side to mount to the original hood that will give me that same shape I need and it will, when, it, when I get to this point, I'll extend the, the fiberglass so I can shape it down onto the hood. We can attach it to this hood and we can run as a race car with very little additional weight. This, this extra attachment piece could be built uh, and, and it r attached right onto the hood. We could use it as a scoop to bring air in uh, if we needed to, or we can, we, can, we can flare it down into the fender. It doesn't have to be a pretty flare down. It just has to be functional. So now the side view of this piece we're going to add is going to look like this. It will extend a little further here, um, but won't be shaped. Those will be flat panels, top and bottom, that we can flare down or fold down to the hood. Uh, since we're making these with uh, uh, flex agent in, uh, or flex glass, uh, that'll bend pretty easily. And then the in view will, of that piece will look like this from the back looking forward.